Yeah. But hear this, right? I could record a little bit. You're comfortable with that? Yeah, sure. Feel free. All right. So, so this is is Juma. We we are about to do our podcast, but he has rich experience in photography, video. So Juma, here I went from you, right, brother? Yes, yes, sir. I um, I find with my little kind of podcast setup that I have here, even though those are these are dynamic mics, this yeah. is the the road um pod mic. Pod I find mic. again a lot of bleed. Now I could I doing multi track recording, right. so I could just silence out and whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. But whatever you see in here that I could do to improve my setup, mm. you're free to suggest it. I really open. I just just have. Well, I always have my dictionary in case people use big words. No, no, this, 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 I, this is, this is, this is pick your brain. So I know I have more song parts if you want. Actually, yeah. So, so, so you bleed in terms of the voices going on one track to the next, right? Yeah, bleed. Whatever you seen about my setup here, that you could give me in terms of improving it. I mean, I know it could only be so good because of the spot that way we are, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I have like a, I have this. Here we have a guy white shot of when we do in our talk. Right. I have a, a B camera, so I kinda do in oh, multicam. Uh no, you you will not see that. Oh, okay, okay. I hear. Yeah. People don't want to see me. Right. It's you they want to see. Right. So what what kind of suggestions that they can make off the top of your head that I have in terms of lighting? At first I was doing some recordings on this island here. That is Kimberly she making doll dumpling. Um <laughs> so nice. Anything or this is just hey, it only have so much you could do in a space like this. Yeah, I mean I, I think I think it starts a little bit with the dynamic mics, which should, should help isolate the sound, as opposed to a condenser mic which picks up more of the ambient um, noise. Um, when we are opposite each other, which means that the dynamic mic should be rejecting sound from the back. So that means it should help with the bleed of the sound. That that will work well too. And we have to get close to it. What I would what I would have would do is that I would reduce my, my gain on each of the mics until the person come closer. Right. So that will stop the noise bleed from around. Um, I would do that in an environment like this. Uh, other than that, the only thing you could do is, is like some treatment. Because your, your, your wall, you have a big flat wall here. Right. That is going to reflect a lot of the noise, a lot of the sound when we, when we speak. And it's going to have some delay coming back. It's going to have... Um, I can't remember what you're phasing. Phasing, yeah. You're going to have a little bit of phasing. But it shouldn't be bad because the dynamic mic should help mitigate that, but that's something that's going to happen. Other than that, you have the, the, the homemade <laughs> like soundproof man. Right and the environments, like even these little things would help because they help uh, break the sound up and diffuse the sound type of thing. So even these little things on the roof and the fact that the room is not, you have different nooks and crannies in the room will help scatter the sound a little bit after you wouldn't get the, the phasing and the delayed stuff um so i mean as far as it goes unless you want to put more stuff in the room and put a big sound blanket right here and put stuff you, this, this is no but what happened is i really have like a little kind of studio set up where's the red wall news and stuff to the front but because it's a is a room that it have bed and whatnot you know you can't leave right now guess and say let's really chat in here man <laughs> But, but you have the gear, I like the stuff you have. You have your, uh, your roadcaster. I mean, you, you, I have the older one to this. Um, I didn't really use it. I mean, they have it, my business partner, he has it. And it's a really good piece of equipment. I mean, it, I mean, once you have this for podcasting and these mics, I mean, you're, 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 you're basically on. You're, you're good to go with these, uh, this gear. Um, you have your camera here, you have one light here, which is on me. I would put this light. Yeah, well, I could do this light. Because okay, so this is really for the, the guests that I want to prioritize it. Alright, so so uh, what kind of lighting do you want to do? You want to do... You want to do... I have, and I have another light if you want me to get it too. This is the maximum... Um, yeah, density? unfortunately. Alright, so... And my... What? You was in the bush or look at one thing on there? Yeah, well, my mate living in the... It's sweet yeah. time, you see that one put that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was about to get ready. I think I don't know. I'm pretty bad yeah, 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 at yeah, this one. Let me plant a taco. Hi. Hello. All right, so what you want to do is that with, with this one, if the camera is here, right, so the camera is off, off center right here, and uh, the light is on my face here, you, you want to think about how you want it to look. In order to look more and slightly more cinematic, you probably want to get some short lighting. Short lighting is when the darker side is facing the camera. So you may want to move the light from this side with only light here. Right. And it's going to cast a shadow on this side. So right now you're doing split lighting. It's right on the side of my face. It's split down the center. Right. If you bring it on this side, you're going to have um, about 45 degrees. You're going to have lighting coming from this side. 
and you're going to have the shadow on this side right about here it's going to be similar to rembrandt with it when it forms the triangle on the cheek right but if you split it on this side you're going to have short lighting which in general looks more cinematic so when people are creating movies they tend to short light scenes in that they put the shadow of the face towards the camera, the camera as opposed to putting the light towards the camera okay it's just the way so so i really what Keep, so move the side over to the next side. I mean, what I would do is that right now it's split. Right now I have a, I have a, I'm gonna have because because it's right next to me on the 180 degree angle, right? So this is this is 90 here. This is 180 here. It's gonna have it's gonna be split. It's gonna be a light and shadow. Obviously, you have all this ambient light and the light outside, so it's not gonna be as intense. But if I were to move this, I would take this and I would put it like right next to you, and so the camera would be here, recording from this side. Some shadow will be in my face, and I have the light on this side. And you will find a nice little short, short lighting. You don't have to change anything but the light. And it will make a big difference. If I have another light, would you suggest a, a bring it on? So if you have a second light, what I would do is I would I would light either the background to make me stand out. Right. Or I would like to open my shoulder at the same angle. On the angle. So you have a really here on the shadow and you have a little bit of a fill here. And on this side you have the light coming through here. So that is short light then. And of course, uh, this position, right? Or that, that position is good. You can start off, then you can begin to look at what the shot looks like. Mm -hmm. And for, for me, like this is what this is a two, uh, uh, two feet by two feet, two by two, uh, one and a half, two, two, two by two, about two by two, right? Two by two, yeah. two, two softbox, <laughs> right? So that's um, 24 by 24. The closer the light, the softer the light, the bigger the light source, the closer the light, the more it wraps around your face. Depending on the feel you want to get, this will work for one face. But if you really want to, to have like light the area and light the, the, the thing to make it soft, you get more intense light that is bigger that you can control and you bring it closer right. to the person. And that's how you get to it. But this will be this will work well. So like if we had a camera here and a camera here, I'll put one so this light will come here, this light will come here for you on the opposite side, and you light it up that way. Ah, okay, it'll okay. Be, it'll be all right, all right, let me go and get the next slide there. <laughs> but that's if you're recording yourself, huh? Yeah, huh? You're recording yourself. Is the battery on? Try to turn it no, no, you have to um, plug it into the, the outlet. Oh, okay. Oh, it's plugged the in. battery. I was, gonna, I was gonna check to see. The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can oh. check to see the difference. It should, it should, um, it should make a difference. Pass it to the back of the leg. Yeah. All right, I'll come in to, to see what to do. Where's your plug? You want this Yeah, that's for you actually. <laughs> oh, thanks. Appreciate it. It's about it. I should be pretty, you know. That's a payment for a consultation. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 free, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was not a, this, not a free consultation. For consulting with Linda. Hey, the light is looking good, boy. <laughs> yeah. it, it should, it should look, it should look really nice. So this is gonna be dark on that side, and it's gonna have like quarter lighting. If you find it's too dark on one side, what you could do is you could even move it closer this way, and you, you kind of go around this way until you get the exact sweet spot. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna start here and you're gonna light more and more and more and more until they get it like around the eye right here. Well, what I'm going to do is when I bring back the light and I set up the camera, yes. I will let you look into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that when you leave, I have it full, I have it cooked. <laughs> I'm coming back. Boy. Okay, 